Welcome to the video tutorial on three ways to connect two TP-Link routers. These are the two TP-Link routers I use in this video. Let's come to the first connection method and also the most used one. I use a computer connected to each router via LAN port for configuration. You can use your phone to configure if you want. But I recommend using a computer and a network cable because I find it easier. These are the configuration steps on TP-Link 1 router. The default IP address of TP-Link router is 192.168.01.1. With the first connection I set the default mode on both routers. On the TP-Link 1 router I set up the wireless network and wireless network password. In this connection method, you set up a different IP address for each TP-Link router. In this case, I did not change the default IP address of the TP-Link 1 router. But I changed the default IP address of the TP-Link 2 router so that they have different IP addresses. Above are the steps to configure the TP-Link 1 router in the first connection. Once completed, I moved on to configuring the TP-Link 2 router. I connected the computer to the TP-Link 2 router through one of the LAN ports. Just like on router 1, I set up a wireless network on TP-Link router 2. I recommend that you set up different wireless networks on the two TP-Link routers. After setting up the wireless network name I set up the wireless network password. Above are the wireless network settings on TP-Link 2 router. Unlock router TP-Link 1. On router TP-Link 2 I changed the default IP address. Make sure the two TP-Link routers have different IP addresses to avoid conflicts. When two routers conflict with IP addresses, devices connected to them will not have an internet connection. After completing the configuration of both TP-Link routers I used an Ethernet cable to connect them together. I connect from any LAN port on router TP-Link 1 to the one port on router TP-Link 2. You connect the Ethernet cable as above. I then used a computer to connect wirelessly to the TP-Link 2 router to test the connection. This is the most used way to connect two TP-Link routers, but it has a drawback. That is the IP address range that changes when connecting to each TP-Link router. Therefore, I show you the second way to connect two TP-Link routers. With this connection method, the IP address range does not change when connecting to either TP-Link router. I set up each router in turn. These are the settings on the TP-Link 1 router. No changes compared to the previous connection method. You just need to pay attention to the configuration on TP-Link 2 in this case. I use an Ethernet cable to connect my computer to the TP-Link 2 router. On TP-Link 2 router, follow these steps. First you set up the wireless network. I recommend that you set up a wireless network before changing the router's operating mode. Because when you change the default operating mode, you will have difficulty connecting to the router. I set up security for the wireless network. Now you change the operating mode for the TP-Link 2 router from router to access point. After completing the TP-Link 2 router configuration, use an Ethernet cable to connect the two routers. You connect from one of the LAN ports on router TP-Link 1 to the one port of router TP-Link 2. 
Above are the steps to connect to TP-Link routers using access point mode. In this case, the two routers use the same IP address range. This method is suitable when you have shared resources in the internal network and you do not want to use many IP address ranges. There is another way to connect to TP-Link routers, which is a cable-free connection. And we come to the third way of connection. I use a computer connected to the TP-Link 1 router and configured as follows. Besides the wireless network settings like the previous connection methods, you can add some advanced settings as follows. Instead of using automatic settings you set some fixed parameters. You set up a fixed channel with and write down and then set up the same on the TP-Link 2 router. Next, set up a fixed channel to ensure the cable-free connection between the two routers is stable. I wrote down the parameters set on router TP-Link 1 to use when configuring on router TP-Link 2. After completing the configuration on TP-Link Router 1, I connected the computer to TP-Link Router 2 using an Ethernet cable. You set up Range Extender Mode on TP-Link 2 Router. This mode helps TP-Link 2 Router connect to TP-Link 1 Router without a cable. Next, Access the TP-Link 2 router using the domain name tp-link-wifi.net. Then you go to Wireless Network Settings. Here you scan for wireless networks around Router 2. You make sure the distance between the two routers is close enough for them to find each other. I set the channel width on TP-Link Router 2 to the same as on Router 1 to ensure a stable connection. You set up the same wireless network security on both routers. I use the wireless network password on Router 1 to set up wireless security on Router 2. Here's how to connect to TP-Link routers without using cables. This is suitable if you want to expand your network but don't want to deploy cables. Thank you for watching 3 ways to connect to TP-Link routers. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Good luck.